I'm Deep Mahaman and you're watching The Redman TV. Um, anyway, yeah, anyway, let's move on to Luis Suarez then. Uh, thank you for those of you who've been watching the, uh, the actual genuine match reaction. There was a football match that was played, of course, uh, but the incident that everyone seems desperate to talk about, and I suppose rightly so, is the Luis Suarez, Branislav Ivanovic biting scandal. Uh, there'll be a name for it by, by Gate or something like that by the time this probably comes out. Uh, look, I'm going to read a few comments here because this has really split a lot of opinion. Um, you can't justify biting someone on a football pitch. I love Luis Suarez, I think he's a smashing player and, and having met him, he's a smashing bloke as well. He is such a nice fella. You wouldn't know it if you knew if you'd only knew him off off the pitch, you wouldn't think he was capable of such things. But it's just bonkers. I mean what, what, I mean, we've all I mean when we get I don't know anyone's ever had the red mist to send. We, you do sh stupid fucking things like, you know what I mean? Um and he seems far more susceptible to it than other people. What I don't get is this... It, uh, uh, look, I'll tell you what, let's read a few comments. Uh, Adam Walker says, I genuinely never want to see Suarez play for us again. Stood by until now, but today was a joke. He is a disgrace. Uh, Jason Reed says, well, that's fucked it. Probably a ban. Forget player of the season. A good course to drive Suarez out. What the fuck was he thinking? Bollocks. Mark Bottle, for fuck's sake, Lewis, if you're going to bite someone, bite Lampard. There's more meat and he comes with barbecue sauce. <laughs> um, Robinson uh, Rayford says, needless from Suarez, I thought he had eradicated that type of stuff from his game. Um, the ban might give him a well-deserved rest anyway. Hopefully that wasn't his final act. Yeah, as uh, Subido Taylor says, the human pantomime pretty much sums up Luis. We saw everything today, the good, the bad and the ugly. Um, yeah, uh, Timo Rasol, Michel, ha Michel Hassan, there's one every week. God. Leave the lad alone. I can never remember as many LFC fans turning on one of our own as I have seen tonight. Uh, he, he done it, just take the ban, apologise and move on. Where would we be without him? Fucked is the answer to that, um, Timo. Uh, yeah, look, I, I, let us know your thoughts on it. We're re I'm really interested to know this. Um, Post-match Sky did my tits in. I mean, Graham Souness. Look, it, it is damaging to Liverpool Football Club, and I don't want I don't want Liverpool players biting people, and I don't want the the the, the accompanying scandal that yeah, as Graham Souness went to great lengths to point out it's going to be Liverpool up there. It's not. It's going to be Suarez up there with Liverpool as a as a, a subheading, which I suppose is, is splitting hairs really. Um, I say again, no justification. You can't say. There's, I mean, I'll tell you what, let's let's flip this on its head. What justification, I meant some justification for why you would bite Branislav Ivanovic on the arm. Do his arms taste like ribs? Uh, let us know in the comments section, I don't care how random you want to be. Let me know what you, what justification, what, why would Luis Suarez bite Branislav Ivanovic on the arm? Let us know in the comments section, should be interesting. Um, I can't be honest with the severity of it all. Yeah, he, he, look, he's gonna get the club are gonna give him a fucking bollock, and he's gonna get a massive ban if if it gets reported by the FA. Um, he's gonna have all the fucking all the the good press that he's built up goes away again. Um, it's stupid, but I don't. I just go. I can't be honest with the outrage and scandal. Let's flip it on 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 a, on its head again. If someone pointed out if Torres had bitten Daniel Agger, yeah, we'd probably be, you know, pitchforks in hand. But I probably wouldn't be because, again, it just shit happens. Like, you I mean, it doesn't happen very often, clearly. People biting people on football pitches is a bit, bit weird. It's a bit weird. You know what I mean? But, uh, it, it, so it's not, it not being a common occurrence means it's going to fucking stand out. But, I, uh, no, I can't. <laughs> No, I, I can't do it. You know, it's not that I was going to say, like, look, fucking Wayne Rooney booting people, people stamping on people, and all this. It's all in the same sort of general area. I just think it's fucking hilarious. I mean, it's not, I, don't, I can't condone physical violence on another person, and I'm not doing that. And that's the that's the, the real downside of it. But why would you bite someone? It's why, why, why would you just, you know what I mean? Why would you? <laughs> and this is it. I just ah oh, no. The, the the real downside of it, and again, we're gonna this will end up getting covered at length on the on the subscribe show this week because we've got the time and space and other people to discuss it. Um, 
it's bad because I don't want school kids, uh, little kids growing up, you know, you, I, I, we all did the Robbie Fowler sniff of the line celebration growing up, but it never did us any harm. Um, but you want, you don't want to, he is a role model and you don't want the next generation of footballers thinking, oh, go ahead, we'll do a bit of a bite in them. No, it's, it's, that's out of order, like, so, I don't want to be too, take it too lightly, but on the other side, I just don't, I just don't get all the, the fucking righteous indignation that's coming out of you should never play for Liverpool again, well, we're going to be fucked if he doesn't play for us again, beggars can't be choosers, and that shouldn't be, that shouldn't, that doesn't mean sweeping under the carpet, it means give him bollocking. Make him publicly apologise. Come on, and if this was in the real world, and he and he and he randomly attacks someone, he'd get some sort of punishment, definitely. But he'd probably get put on some sort of counselling. Now, it says to me, if you're of the mindset that you would just bite someone in the middle of a football match, you probably got slight mental issues, and that's something that you want to look at. You don't you don't stand these people on a pillar and tar and feather them. You take them away and you make sure they're okay and you look after them. So I, I don't know. Maybe maybe this is the the Tory way. You know what I mean? That we don't we don't like to take care of the mentally ill. I, 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 <laughs> I don't know. Look, leave us your comments. Let me know what your thoughts are. If you think Luis Suarez should never play for Liverpool again, let us know in the comments. If you think people who think that way are fucking morons, let me know in the comment section. If you think vice versa of that, oh, let us know all the shit in the comments underneath. One thing, the question: Do should should Liverpool look to get shut because of this incident? Let me know that. The short answer is no. But I'm, I'm interested. Your opinion is valid as anyone else's. Let us know in the comment section. Anyway, if you just watch this and you want to talk a little bit about actual football, we did a genuine match reaction. Um, click links in the video info, annotations, yada, yada, yada. Check it out on the YouTube channel, youtube.com forward slash Redman TV or the Redman TV.com. Anyway, thanks very much for joining us on what's been a, a bit of a bit of a weird day. Um, yeah. I, well, let's leave it there, shall we? Yeah, join us on the RedmenTV.com for the subscriber show this week. We'll be talking about this at length. More of your comments. Um, we'll also be talking about the football, yeah, and we'll be building up to Newcastle and having more of your questions and ask the Redmen, etc., etc., etc. Thank you very much for watching. Enjoy what's left of your weekend. Good night.